Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and I am doing another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra figure. Hopefully it's been long enough for you guys since you everybody did all the reviews on these. Maybe these guys will be a little fresh for you now. Kind of wanted to wait a little bit, but um, today we have Shipwreck. Very cool figure. One of my favorite Joe figures. Get the standard card here. Nice file card. These are made by Hasbro, of course, 2009. Let's take a quick break and we'll get Shipwreck here out of the package. Alright, we have Shipwreck here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at his accessories. Start off with the ugly missile launcher. Big obscene missile launchers. They all come with them. Of course, he comes with his awesome parrot. Would have been nice if they'd uh, done some kind of hinges on the on the wings. Which would have been cool. You could have posed them down and up. But, you know, pretty good detail in here. There's a lot better detail on this one than the original. So, pretty nice. And he comes with two flippers. And which is, one thing that's pretty cool is on the bottom, they still have the peg holes, so when his foot's in here you can still pose him on a battle stand so that's a pretty neat little feature kinda like that and then he's got some uh, scuba headgear with the tubes that'll plug back into his backpack comes with a rifle a pistol and just a little knife knife styles is uh, detailed as Zartan's knife but, you know, what are you going to do? And of course, it comes with the awesome dog tag battle stand, which has his name on the front, which I really like. These things are awesome. And one thing I really like about them also is uh, they have the two pegs and not just one. I really like the two pegs. More battle stands need to be like that. And of course, he has his uh, scuba backpack. It's pretty cool. And onto the figure himself. Looks like he has a belt that is removable. You can take his belt off. So, that's kind of cool. Little utility belt. And of course, his articulation. You know, I'm not going to go through every articulation with these guys, but head movement, ball jointed shoulder, bend at the elbow, turn at the wrist, turn at the chest, ball jointed thigh, double jointed knee, and hinged ankles. Pretty cool. And again, with the, the small hands, don't really like the hands on these guys. I, I like the original hands a little better. But overall, not bad. You yeah. know, a little more detailed. They're just kind of small and ugly. So, he's got kind of a nice paint job. He's got kind of this brushed gray and black on there. It's pretty cool looking. He's got the G.I. Joe logo there on his chest. Very cool figures. Very happy about these guys, you know, I haven't opened a new G.I. Joe in, like I said in the last video, about 15 years, so it's kind of exciting for me. Got to go through these guys. Very cool. And of course, these are the 3 and 3 fourths inch. Not like that need to be said, but just if anybody was curious on how tall they were. But, uh, they do sit a little nicer than the originals, since there's no more... Uh, with the old waistbands, their legs would kind of just kind of spread out like that. You couldn't really get the the closed legs, which you can on these. You can get a lot closer than the originals, so that's pretty cool. And they sit up a little straighter. The old ones would kind of sit back. So, very cool. Definitely like these. Good improvement. A lot of great detail on the face. So, yeah. Definitely enjoy these guys. So thanks for checking this out. 